Zombie, get out of here. So not a whole lot. I've been told not a whole lot has been accomplished on the server. But there are some crafting materials. And they've started to like clear out our spawn area a little bit. So we'll just enjoy like a little chill Minecraft, man. It's gonna be like a like a 2010 era segment here. I was thinking about what to do for the start of the stream. Like I, I ran out of time this morning. I wanted to actually record that Dan chess video. Um Oh, let's go. But I ran out of time to record it, so I was like, oh crap, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. And then I was like, screw that, dude, just stream it, dummy. I'm gonna die to this freaking zombie, man. Dude! Let's go! Um, let me get some wood here real quick. <laughs> and then I was like, I was thinking about what to play, and I've had a couple of things on my list for a while. One of them is, uh, I want to be the guy. But I was like, I, I, let me put it this way. I think I can play I want to be the guy whenever I choose, is, is one thing. Can you just back the frick up? Doesn't have to be right now, right? Um, and then the other thing is, uh, I thought about maybe doing Jump King, which was a game that I, I will admit, the first couple of times that I played it, um, oh jeez, I wasn't like a huge fan. But I also didn't really give it, like, a fair shake. I ne I didn't play it under the guise of, like, we're gonna, um... You know, like, play this game forever. And, and like, follow it through to its logical conclusion. We just played it one time, and we're like, I don't really love it that much. Which I think we should, uh... The, half of the fun of those games is trying to go all the way, right? You're you're a d-hole, dude. I was I was making a sword. You're so lucky. I was making a sword to fry you, dude. I was making a sword to fry you. <laughs> anyway, um, and yeah, like another question that we're getting a lot of is like, are you gonna play Hitman Three? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. We gotta bring some some gaming content back to the stream. Hitman Three is like a gimme. I was a little, um, let's not, let's not get negative about it, but I was a little disappointed that apparently Hitman 3 has removed Ghost Mode. Um, probably because almost nobody played it in Hitman 2 except for Mathis and I, but I was, I was hoping that, um, that I might be able to get a little bit more PvP Hitman in, but I don't think it, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. You, don't you guys start burning to death soon? There we go. Just keep it moving. No, I don't think we'll do... I, I mean, I don't know. Like, at some point, maybe we'll do Hitman, like, NLSS content. But, like, definitely I want to play through it all solo first. Because you, you get a little more focus on the game instead of the banter, you know? Okay. So you are toasted. You're dead. You stink. Goodbye. Um. Now, I am going to... Steal some resources. Don't tell anybody. You have gotten an achievement. Stinky thief. We will generate some meat for ourselves. And then, dude, my favorite part of Minecraft is just exactly what we're going to do here. Building a little base, maybe. And then just leveling terrain. Oh. <laughs> Mundane tasks. You love to see it. Thank you for the stakes. We're going to we're going to use every part of the buffalo on that one. Dude, I I Minecraft is like is so everything's so new to me. I think I played the game before they even made it so chickens drop to meat. I feel like last time I played the game before YouTube, they only dropped feathers and eggs. I know it sounds like that's like a myth, but I'm pretty sure that's that's a genuine situation. What about Unity Minecraft? It's a good question, but uh Unity Minecraft is like sacrilegious Minecraft um because there were so many mods like I don't even know what's real. Like like who even knows what was 
what was real and what was fantasy in those days, right? Okay, we got some food. I don't know what you do with rotten flesh yet, and that's okay. Let's make ourselves a little... Uh, just make, just going to make ourselves a little axe. Get some wood, and then maybe we'll go uh, do a little mining, man. Get some diamonds. That would be pretty... What if they just came back, and I had created, like... You know, you know the meme that's like the world if, you know, Army Hammer never logged on? What if by the time they came back, I had created that world? That'd be pretty sick, right? What the heck is that? Hello. Um, aren't you a villager? What the- Chad, what the heck is that? Run. It's an illager. <laughs> what the heck is an illager, dude? What the heck? Kill it with fire and magnets? What are you talking about? Just kill him. I'll try. Hold on, I've got to defend... Oh god, I've got to defend the dad village. Oh jeez. Just eat a steak real quick. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dude, he's so good. Let's go! Nice try, dummy. You got me. Get, get out of here! Successfully defended from the siege, the siege of the Illager. <laughs> Made me use all my meat, you a-hole. Oh my god. I, I really thought I was going down. That was scary. <laughs> what 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 the heck is an illager, dude? I know about villagers. I feel like illagers are like brand new though. They're pillagers? We got nothing to pillage, dude. That's like you know, you trying to pillage me in Minecraft, that's like me making fun of Dan's chess gameplay. Like it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just making sure I got the stream. No, the stream info set perfectly. Nothing wrong with that. All right, now we can continue unabated with our with our serious domestic plans. Don't enter a village or it'll start a raid. Um so what's what's going on with this tree? Those are pre oh protected spawn. Too close to spawn. You can't break blocks in the spawn chunk. How about that? Only sips can do it. All right, that's good. I mean, I wasn't. You know what? That's Mal should have done that in in Unity Minecraft. Then I would never break his. What did he call it? His tree hole. Home tree. That's it. You just you just be mining. Oh, hey, I need two pieces of lumber. You mine the wrong tree. This guy goes like DEFCON 1. This is like when the baby fills her diaper at 6 a.m. How am I supposed to know what's a home tree and what's not a home tree? <laughs> I, I'm a simple man. I, I see wood, I chop. I, I, I see wood, I chop. It's in my Canadian blood. And also, I, I think Malph and I, we have, like, different architectural goals. Like, I won't, aesthetically at least, I won't be happy until this whole place is the exact same height. So it's, like, completely flat. And also, nothing obstructs my view in any direction. That's, that's pretty much my aesthetic goal. I know a lot of people, like... They want to see nature and stuff like that. I want to. I want to see as far as possible, and I want nothing to interrupt my ability to like sprint. That's that's my dream. That's exactly what Sips wants. I'm telling you. We gotta see like if if our parents are somehow related, because like there, there's way too much like synchronicity in our value sets. Maybe if we go down the family tree, it'll be like, you know, oh yeah, you know, your your dad was my dad's best friend or something like that. 
Probably not though. There's like an eight year difference between us, but still. Now these these just decay over time, right? I know that's like Minecraft 101, but once you take out the whole tree, they just decay over time. He hates microwaves. I hate microwaves, but I actually have been using ours more than I ever have in my entire life since we got these like delivery meal service. So I, I respect the utility of the, of the microwave now. I certainly, you know... Woof. Oh, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I, I respect the utility of the microwave. Even though it's, it's certainly not my favorite uh, appliance. Okay. This, we, we got a lot of wood now. 27... I actually felt like we had like two or three hundred. <laughs> I, I felt like I had been chopping trees forever. Because like, the, the, like this tree, dude, it's impossible to chop. How are you supposed to chop this? It goes too high. Can't be done. That's a BM bet. Will NL die to a creeper? Look, I'm bad at Minecraft, but like I'm not so bad at Minecraft, I'm going to die to a creeper. I'm not going to say it's never happened. I'm just saying prove me wrong then. It's a hard bet to prove, right? I guess you cuz oh, you put a time limit on it. Never mind. It's like you never know if he's going to die to a creeper until it's like the end of the stream. But I guess if you said one day then then I get it. Okay. This is bothering me. Like, I don't know who did this, but we have to have words. Because, like, trees are fine. But when the tree is, like, it just leaves the canopy in the sky, that's horrible. That's actually, like, an assault on the senses. Dan did it. Sips told him not to. You know, like... Sips told him not to. Dan did it anyway. Misbehaving. Mining out a chunk, but leaving little chunk remaining misbehaving. It's, um, the righteous gemstones. Dude, you guys ever think about how sweet... I mean, let, let's be honest. There have been some negatives due to the uh, coronavirus pandemic. I think there have been some, some obvious kind of negatives to it. Um, but do you ever think about, like, once we reach herd immunity due to vaccination... At some point in 2024, how lit like the next one to two years of entertainment are going to be. Like there's been like so little new television, like Righteous Gemstones. I was like, where's season two? Season two, they can't film it because of the coronavirus. You know, all your favorite TV shows have gone through, like, some kind of uh, hiatus or at least, like, you know, interruption as a result. But once it starts to, you know, clear up, hopefully, oh my god, it's gonna be... I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be like a new Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's gonna be that transformative to the entire media landscape. I guess that's true. Anime, anime didn't go on hiatus. That's true. I suppose that's true. <laughs> I'm not, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to fix all the floating trees because I feel bad for the, for the people watching. Probably should get some more sticks, but we'll just we're we're fine. We'll just, you know, I I like to maintain a pretty light inventory, even if it means we have to go back to our, to our toolbox. That much more frequently. No, I dare not light the dad craft base on fire to try to make it burn faster. Because, like, it, it would probably go fine. But if something went wrong, I would never forgive myself. Dude, you were one block away. Oh, my God. That's so, that's so upsetting. <laughs> Man was literally one block away. It's just, it's like disrespectful. Okay, you can sleep outside, right? It's like... I'm not, I'm not just going to explode. 
top five countries you want to visit? I'm going to pivot off of that question. Um, not, not because I'm worried about offending anybody, but because like... Oh my, oh my god, what the heck was that? Just because I don't know like what we're going to do for for travel. Once, oh, hello, hello, creeper. Once things are like opened up. Because I feel like it's not exactly like the best time to travel is when you have... Where did he go? Is when you got a... You know, a six-month-old infant. Or, I don't know, like a year-old infant. I don't know. I'd be interested to know the the feedback from other uh, parents in chat. Like, I feel like like traveling with a little baby, if you have to, whatever, you just do it, right? Um, you know, you're, you're going to get through it, but it's not ideal. You wouldn't be like, hey, let's go out of our way to make like a special trip now or whatever. Um, yo, this tree is, is bearing fruit, man. But, like, at what age does it become, like, a, a little easier? Like, it'll never be as easy as two adults just traveling. Obviously, but... It's like he did this deliberately, man. Like, look at this disaster. So disrespectful. 30? No, that's, like, that's BS. Because I'll tell you, if, if I went on a vacation with my parents now... They're only in their mid-50s, but I would still be like... I, I mean, I don't mean this to sound rude to them. They're very nice people. But I would be the parent in that situation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, it, I wouldn't be like, Mom, Mom, can we go to, like, Little Caesars for dinner? I would be like... Because like, we've been trying to get my parents to... I mean, this is pre-COVID, obviously. But we've been trying to get my parents to, like... Uh, go to Japan with us. I think it would be a really fun family trip. And my parents uh, traveled zero when I was a kid, except like very, very small road trips, literally to like two towns over. Like we would, uh, we would drive from Kingston where I grew up to like Ottawa, which is two hours away. And then the vacation was like, you know, hey, we're going to go like watch a movie at the movie theater, right? We're going to like stay in a hotel. Once or twice we went to a hockey game, but um, sometimes we would just like one time we went to Montreal, which is like three hours away. And we were like, you want to go see a hockey game? And we're like, yeah. And they looked at the ticket prices and they were really expensive. So we went, ah, let's just watch it on TV. So we like in the hotel, we just watched the game on TV and we were like, you know, wow, it's crazy. They're playing like right over there. <laughs> So they they really didn't travel a lot when I was uh, when I was a kid, and and part of the reason is because you know they um, you know weren't in an amazing financial situation, and then they were also especially my dad he was just like really busy. I, I I don't think I ever saw my dad take like more than a week off from work until I was already away at college. So now they're starting to you know they they're better off financially. They're in a um, you know the, my mom's like pretty retired and my my dad is like maybe i don't know eight years away or something like that so they travel a little bit more oh dude let's start mining that's the ticket um so they they went to portugal literally like it was like the week before everything got shut down <laughs> due to covid like on that Friday they called and they were like, hey, yeah, we're in the airport. We're about to go to Portugal. And then like a week later they called and they were like, whoo, glad we got back before they shut down the airports. Um, but they're they're finally open to like more international travel. But it's for them, it's really like it's a combination of two things, right? It's explaining that like if you already fly from, let's say, Toronto or Ottawa to Vancouver, um, Getting to Japan is only another eight hours on top of that. So if they fly here to visit us anyway, you know, if we if we both have a lot of time off, they could stay, like, in a hotel for a couple days, and then they could, uh, you know, we could all fly to, to Japan. Oh, I didn't know. You we're keeping rotten flesh? Does that do something? But for them, it's like, it's a combination of, like, the flight 
and then also being like, you know, we will take care of you while we're there. <laughs> You're not gonna... I, like, uh, it, it's it's gonna be a little overwhelming because I don't think you've ever been to, like, a country where, uh, you know, English is not... Like, I mean, Portugal, obviously, they speak Portuguese, but I feel like because it's Europe, English is maybe, like, a little bit more widespread, although clearly also in Japan it's widespread as well, but... Did I not make... No, I didn't make any pickaxes. I need my stone back. Anyway, so, like, I... Uh, yeah, we're trying to convince them at some point to, like, come to Japan. But we've definitely, we've crossed that threshold. And it's fair, right? Like, that's the circle of life. We've crossed that threshold where, like, I would be the parent in the, in the vacation instead of vice versa. Like, I would be like, come on, oh, you barely touched your karage, dad. It's kind of weird. It's not weird. It's just Japanese fried chicken. It's not that weird. No, my, my parents are actually, like, they're pretty culinarily open-minded for the most part. Although my dad won't eat anything that he thinks is mayonnaise-based or or cream-driven. Cream <laughs> but apart from that, like, any any combination of, like, you know, meat or fish and vegetables, they will they'll get down with. Okay. Okay. Now, I don't want to, like, I don't want to screw anybody up, right? So before I start mining, let's, let's just, uh, let's flatten out a little land. Because I feel like, you know, close to spawn, this is where people are going to want to, like, build their houses. If they don't want to build their houses, that's fine. I'll just build my, I'll build my mega estate here, and then they can talk to my administrative assistant if they want to visit. They want to build a town hall here. You know what? Then I'm, I'm happy to do my part. Oh, hey, uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say, I uh, think we're, we're probably going to do some safety work here. And uh, I'm going to search for fence. It's made of planks and sticks. So let's get some sticks, dude. And then let's get some planks. Probably don't need this many, but... Live with it. Hey, man, 36 fences? This place is going to be like... It's going to be OSHA compliant. You need a permit, sir? Hey, man, there's nothing... Everybody... Hates safety. Boo, safety. But nobody likes to die in like a mine collapse. So riddle me this, dude. Safety. Boo, so lame. Oh, what the heck? My coffee maker just exploded and burned my face so bad I need to get reconstructive surgery. There you go. I got a little... You know, we should probably put like a gate on here so you could access the lava, but... What about the other hole? What other hole? Oh, this one? Uh, what the... Uh... Yeah, so, hey, somebody should put a fence around that. <laughs> Is there... Don't, don't I have, like, a tombstone or something? I, I'd like my stuff back. I didn't go in on purpose, honestly. Like, I think auto-jump kind of jostled me, but it is funny. Tombstone is modded? Oh, dude. <laughs> My fences. Whatever, this, this. Oh, that was outside. Okay, yeah, yeah, I agree. Let's turn off auto-jump. Auto jumps right there. Okay. Easy. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Somebody told me you could just right click and like draw what you want. Yes, that's true. Like, okay, so if I have nothing in my inventory, I can go yunk, shift right click.
You just did it? Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I thought, like, what I could do is go, like, you do do, and then it would be, like, you want to make a pickaxe. That's modded as well. No, okay, so, like, I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm kind of being willfully misrepresented here. Um, when people said you could just draw what you want, I thought what they meant was if you draw, a, like, a symbol or a shape onto the crafting board, it would autofill from your inventory what you need to do. When people said draw, I assumed that that's, the, that's what they meant by it. Instead, what they're saying is you can use right-click to put things there faster, which is also fine, but was not uh, wasn't the way I thought it went down. I thought it was more advanced than that. And then left-click auto balances. Let, let's figure this out, okay? So hold right-click, and then what happens from this point onwards? Left click drag and it'll split evenly. Yo. Yo. All right. That's good intel. Take two of these. Plus 50 elo right there. I'm not afraid to learn. The thing is you just got to convince me that what you're teaching me is worth learning. Because mostly what people try to teach me is like, hey, you call this Samurai Champloo, but this is actually Yu Yu Hakusho. And there's like a huge difference um, in between those. And don't, you know what? So I, I was watching this documentary, um, ha 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 ha, boomer, 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 uh, ha ha ha, about Warren Buffett on uh, Sunday. And I don't think it's like this is something that only Warren Buffett and I have in common. But they, the Warren Buffett's children were describing his uh his demeanor and i was like except for the part where he's got like you know 80 billion dollars we're actually like the same dude because his kids were like yeah sometimes you would just be like telling him a story and unless you told him the story was gonna be long he would just tune out by like you know halfway through the story and he would be like in his own world and I'm like, yeah, why didn't you tell him that the story was kind of like long? Like, all, I'm not saying it's polite. It's actually like impolite. But this, this looks nice. Um, that's how I feel sometimes. Like when Kate tells me a story in my head, I almost and again, it's a bad habit. But I almost like a sign, like in my head, I'm like, oh, this is about like her trip shopping today. So it's probably going to be about three minutes long. And then when it stretches into like eight minutes or something like that, my brain is just like, nah, I only budgeted three minutes for this. So it's like a struggle to kind of keep it going. You know what I mean? But if, if she were to tell me in advance that was like, hey, just so you know, this is going to be like a slightly longer story, then I would be like, no problem. I would, I would get the mental uh, budget out and I would be like, we're going to budget like 15 minutes for this. You know what I mean? I feel like it's almost, let's not call it common courtesy. But most of the time, like especially like on stream, when I go to tell a story to somebody, I usually start with something like, don't worry, it'll be quick. Or alternatively, I say something like, um, I apologize, this is going to take a long time, but it'll be worth it, I think. To, just so they know that they have, like, they got some time, you know? Because I don't want to spring it on them and be like, guess what, we're about to go on like a 20-minute bit. Yeah, which is why it bothers me so much when Josh interrupts me. Exactly. <laughs> when I'm like... Hey, so yeah, I try to get like the details of the story out as fast as possible. I'm like, I was at the store today and something funny happened. And before I finish the end of a sentence, he's like, the store? What kind of store? The, the bald store? And I'm like, oh my god. And that's why I fired him. Goodbye. Easy. Let that... It, 
I didn't fire him because I wanted to. I fired him because I had to send a message to the rest of my collaborators that now that I'm a, a big-time, semi-full-time streamer, I'm not going to tolerate that kind of disrespect anymore. Kiss the ring. It's that simple. <laughs> Dude. This is what being a dad's all about. Just dads helping dads. Like, I don't intend for... Like, it's not my dream that they're going to come back to this server and be like, Wow, great job. You hollowed out all this stuff. That's amazing. But I know that like when we come back to the server, they're going to look at the flat land and they're going to, like, admire it. And that's all I need, you know? I don't need the... Um, I don't need the public adoration or anything like that. I just, you know, just knowing that they're going to feel like a pleasant sense of satisfaction when they see this, that's enough for me. That's enough for me, man. Just a nod, exactly. Mouth's going to be cheesed. Look, you know it's like approximately six days until he just fricks off to the other side of the map and starts like his own arboretum and canola farm. How do you think he would like it if, you know, in Toronto they just replaced his apartment with like a, you know, a, a large oak tree? He'd love it. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have a place to live anymore. I can hear the bubbling, dude. Got the bubbling pouring through me. He would not love it. He would be like, why am I paying like $1,700 a month to live in a tree? It's not even worth half that much. Depends how nice the tree was. Dude, my mouse is getting... Must be my, my aim hack is trying to get a headshot on the nether dragon. I almost got lost. <laughs> All right, next goal, next goal. This was good. Hello, pig. Sorry, it had to be done. Every part of the buffalo and all that. Um, we need more space. This is not enough space for a suitable town hall. I hate. To, you know what? I think we got to do a little mining, and then we got to use the. Uh, we got to use iron to clear this out faster. That's that's my new take. Flattening land has has been fine, but I think we need a little uh, we need a little mining action. Hey, I didn't put that bed here. Don't make fun of that bed. The other dads put that bed that bed there that bed there. Um, so temporarily, I am going to br uh, build a an access point to a mine right here. Let's get one more shovel. And, and then send it. That bed there. That bed there. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The spirit of Malf was temporarily... I was possessed by it. Probably don't need this much dirt either. I don't know. What's, I have to consult the, the Minecraft handbook. What's the optimum amount of dirt to have in your inventory? Probably 64. Seems fine. Quick little apple break. Oh, not necessary. Not necessary. All right. Careful. This will be the mine access point. For now. It's probably not the way... Oh, you know what? We don't even have any freaking coal, dude. Let's get a sword and let's get some coal. So I hate to do this, but sometimes you don't have a choice. Look at that. Using keyboard shortcuts already. And, uh... Something like... Uh, hold on. You know, you gotta force yourself to learn how to do it, okay? It's probably not... It's it's overkill for a single sword, but still. Also, that's not a sword, dumbass. That's a shovel. Give me two swords. No, give me one sword. We're, I, I'm confident we're gonna have a lot of minerals moving forward. Now, no reason. We gotta, you got a one by one. There's no reason for this. There you go. There you go. 
take some coal with you just in case. This is vanilla Minecraft. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like this game... I feel like it could go somewhere. Like, I feel like it has a chance to get kind of popular. I think there's, it's got a real shot at greatness. This is right, right? Yeah, this, this is pretty much how you would do it. And then you can put torches in your offhand. I remember this from Unity. And then we just place them with left click. No, you have to have something. Okay, you have to have something weird in your other. You have to have a tool in your other hand. Okay, okay. Okay. Dude, here we go. Here we go. I did think about getting RTX uh, Minecraft. But it seems like it's... It, with RTX Minecraft, you can't... Pl at least this is what I got from the NVIDIA website. You can't play it with people who are just on, like, the Java version of Minecraft. Yeah, like, it's Windows 10 edition only, unfortunately. So we'll just have to deal with the, the normal aesthetics. Instead of the, the RTX style aesthetics. But that's okay. Yeah, no, you can get, like, shaders and stuff like that. I'm not, like, really that kind of guy, you know? I'm not like a shader-driven individual. I'm not a visual guy. That's another thing they said in the Warren Buffett documentary. They're like, he's not very visual. And I was like, hey, I'm not very visual either. I think we'd be great friends. I'm a little worried a creeper is going to come down here. But, rip to the creepers, but... I'm just built different, dude. What are you? I thought you were gravel. Warren Buffett's still alive? Yeah, man, he's like... I was watching the documentary. The documentary's from 2017. Um, he's still driving. Which, I mean, honestly, like, they didn't really ask him about it. I wish they had. But he was driving himself to work. And I was like, dude, you're 86. Just call an Uber or something. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, you see, he seems pretty spry. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's just like, you know, you're, you're kind of playing with fire at that point. You seem like a rational guy. Surely, you, you know, you understand the danger levels here. Look at that. Oh, dude. They're going to be so happy. Like, just just happy to do what I can for the dads here. A little, little worried about maybe, like, some creepers spawning in there, but whatever. I'm just, exactly, I'm happy to do my part. And you know what? I like... I don't necessarily love easy tasks, but I love simple tasks. And I know that sounds like uh, like I repeated myself, or maybe it's an oxymoron. But like, mining out all of planet Earth, that's not an easy task, right? Like, that's tough. However, is is very, very simple. All you gotta do is hold the left mouse button down forever, you know? That's that's my speed. Like I think that's honestly why I've been able to stream and do YouTube for so long without like losing my mind is cuz it really is like the simplest job in the world. It's not necessarily you know easy to make 10,000 videos or whatever, but it's very very simple. All you got to do is click your mouse button, right? My freaking pickaxe broke. How much? Five iron ore? We did all that for five iron. The one thing psychologically I'm going to have to learn to live with is the idea that in modded Minecraft, we basically had the... Well, I mean, like, we literally had the infinity gauntlet. And in vanilla Minecraft, like, this isn't as fast as you can go, but it's pretty close. <laughs> Very false. 
what do you what 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 goes faster than this? Like obviously diamond and stuff like that. But um, can you just start sending uh, you know like railroad trains full of TNT down here or something? He doesn't know about netherite. It's true. What is what is netherite? Enchanted netherite pick with bacon. It's better than diamond. And they're like, it's better than yours. You think the guys would be mad if I built a nether portal? Because I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Like, I, I don't think there's any negatives to building the, the nether portal, right? It, it, it is a little bit more annoying to build before you have access to diamond, but... As long as you place it appropriately, you'll be fine. That, see, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to do my part. No, I'm not going to place it next to the bed. I feel like that, that could go wrong, right? I have so many comments, by the way. Your Minecraft staircase is hideous. Go, like, leave the stream and turn on the news. And then come back and tell me if you're still mad about my damn Minecraft staircase. You know, you got, you got one life on God's green earth. You're like, you know what energy I need to put in the world right now? My man's cube staircase in a 13-year-old video game is not as efficient as it could be. That's crazy, man. We, we got to unite the stream, not divide it. You should have seen the stuff I was building when nobody was watching. That's crazy. This is like, this is progress for me. Not to mention, you know. You, you ever look at like what a real mine looks like? I'm not necessarily using that as a defense, I suppose. But it's like... It's just like a big hole in the ground. Doesn't even ha There's no aesthetics. People are getting dirt all over their face. You gotta wear a flashlight hat. Like... It's crazy. That being said, I do feel like I'm, I'm using way more torches than uh, is strictly necessary. Yeah, if you were pissed before, get ready for this. <laughs> and then you still mine through what you just made. I think I got the black lung pop. There you go. It's, a, it's, it's about structural integrity. You hear that? Thought I heard a, a very loud... <laughs> uh, breath? Like a, like a creature's breathing? Just the wind? Sure, probably just the wind. Iron! That's a... Oh no, that's cave noises. Spider-Man music. My pickaxe. Sorry, we need to go back to the surface anyway. So I think we need a short-term goal. Um, I think we can use our limited amount of iron. I mean, dude, like, it's kind of... <laughs> people are going to be very upset by this, but... I feel like if, if they came back and saw a nether portal, they would be like, What? That's amazing. And I'd be like, thanks, that's not why I do it, but... So if like we make a bucket and then we make the portal and then they're like, how'd you do that? Did you get diamond? I'd be like, nah, dude. I just I just build a custom mold like my friend Dan G Dan uh, Giesling taught me. If you just build a custom mold, then you don't even have to worry about having diamond. Farm is good. I would never uh, take away a job that Malf would love to do. Geasley taught me. <laughs> Geasley reupholstered my cobblestone generator. So, I mean, we haven't even talked about, like, the big news. Are Kim and Kanye actually getting a divorce, or is that just tabloid fodder? Jay, are you here? I know you're the expert, Jay. I saw on Twitter, it was like, Kim and Kanye are getting... It was like, they're separating, but not getting a divorce. And I was like, come on, man. They're like... 
I gotta know. They're like my generation's uh, JFK and Jackie Onassis. Not at all? No, you're right, because they're like even better. Um... Oh no, someone in chat says Levy needs a chess lesson from you now. First off, you you flatter me. There's nothing I could teach the man that he didn't learn himself in like 7th grade probably. Um, but secondly, you know, I all I can do is is give the I can life coach Levy just to remind him that you know you you go through slumps. I went through a slump myself. He came in with a little bit of emergency chess triage. And uh, wouldn't you know it, I went 4-0 on stream yesterday, including like some of the, uh, the most creative attacks I've ever done in my entire life. And, uh, and I owe it all to you, oh baby. I am uh, international master, I am Levy Roseman. And I'm not gonna get my GM norm. I swear. It's expensive. And plus there's no over the board tournaments now. Had the time of my life. I do think chess needs a little... Look, I'm not gonna lie. There's like a little green monster that lives inside of me, okay? Not not much. I'm not a very jealous person. But I have seen people talking about uh, Pog Champs 3. And then all of a sudden, you know, a little bit of discourse comes out around around Pog Champs 3, which I think they're changing the name of now, but you know, colloquially we'll call it Pog Champ 3. And I see like, you know, they're doing some like warm-up tournaments and stuff like that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to be involved in the chess community to the, uh, to the extent that I am, but I can't help but notice that my email inbox is also empty. You're too good for it? That's all right. They're adults. They can, they know how to lose gracefully. I need, I, I feel like it's kind of not fair to them to set up that kind of like nanny state. Pokemon Choco Bars, they already know how to lose to me. They got, had a lot of practice in Champions of Fire 2 before I lost to Hafu. <laughs> and she lost to Yasuo. <laughs> but anyway, the point is I won against them specifically. Okay. Oh, it's raining, dude. My bit rate. I'm just saying, there there was a little part of me that was like, I guess, you know, I, I don't want to make you like they don't want the smoke, I guess. But I was like, you know, I see how it is. I guess, it, you know, in streaming, you just, you get punished for being too good. It's kind of like the American tax code. <laughs> um, I'm just joking. Um... If anything, you get punished for the opposite way, but hold on. 23 iron. Now, does it smelt, um, it smelts two blocks per coal? Eight per coal. That's an, they, dude, they made them so much more efficient recently. <clears throat> That's amazing. They've heard they've recently added more processes. Um... But yeah, I mean, I'm mostly being facetious, but I would love to be a part of the tournament. Me, you know, the problem is I, I don't so much want to be a part of it. Uh, if they find people <laughs> who are more skill appropriate, I would I would much rather be uh, in the tournament when the average rating of players is like 800. Um, but if we can't swing that, then then so be it. Yeah, maybe maybe they could have me on as a caster or something. No, they they got good casters already. But I will say I would love to see um I they had a great idea. Who was it that said have Dan and Hikaru commentate some of the Pog Champs games? 
It'd be so amazing. Two two ninety Elo versus twenty nine hundred Elo. Okay, we can make a little bucket out of that, man. Acquire hardware. Mm, disregard experience. Acquire hardware. <laughs> That's not how that goes. Bucket. No, they be. I has bucket. Ha ha. They be taking my bucket. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Can I has bucket? They be taking my bucket. No, it's a meme, sweetheart. There you go, just <laughs> to OSHA. OSHA. Need another gate there. Put, put some yellow uh, flowers around that. We're going to need another gate there. Okay, you just don't put it too close to the bed. And then we got to... I'll make a water spawner. So you can make a 3 by one water spawner, right? Do you make the 3 by one um, And then you put it in the two... Edge holes? Two by two is better. If they both make infinite water, how could one be better? Just just asking like mathematically as a logician. Aesthetics. You prefer lakes to rivers? I'm kind of a river guy. Two by two you can take from anywhere. Oh, you know what? I'm a man of uh, science, all right. That's that's a genuine reason. And then you, you put it at opposite corners, right? What? It's spawn protection? So Sips must have mined this out. Sips! True gamers do three by one. If anything, that's even more of a reason to do uh, the two by two, I think. There you go. Just a glitch with the bucket. I don't know. Like, you know, it makes more sense to have it close to the lava anyway. That way... Um, okay, I... Starting to believe you're probably right about that glitch from the bucket. Can I not take water from here because it's a spawn chunk or something? Cursed server. <laughs> Alright. You know, fair enough. So we'll just walk a little bit further out. Well, you know what we should do is we should get rid of the lava. And then carry two... Water buckets back. Because that's infinite water. So we'll walk slightly further away from spawn. Is it a... Is it a problem that it's swamp water? Like, does the bucket not like it? Maybe the bucket is like a snob. It's like this isn't... Uh, this isn't distilled. Not my problem. That counts. Pay out. <laughs> I did. That was on purpose. I don't know what the bet is, but that I made that obsidian on purpose. I don't know if that was the bet or was the was the bet by accident. Because I meant to make obsidian there, just out of uh, just out of convenience. Will he misplace obsidian? Yes. 
Okay, I mean that's a that's a tough one to pay out. I know the payouts are coming out. Don't don't be mad at the mods. That's a confusing one to pay out. Okay. I didn't really misplace it, but it is misplaced within the context of an obsidian portal. That's true. Okay. Now, put the obsidian portal down right here. We got 15 minutes to do this. I totally think it can be done. So it's a two by three. So the corners don't need anything. Dude, I'm going to try to do this without chat's um, help or approval. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's got to be two and then three tall. I understand. I understand now. Dunk. Donkey, donkey, dunk, donkey, donkey, dunk, donkey, dunk, donkey, dunk. This is this song almost brings a tear to my eye every time. I used to hate it until the needle drop gave the soundtrack an eight, and now I'm like, it's pog. Oh, they're gonna be so pleased when they when they see that there's a portal here. I it's gonna break. Whoops. It's gonna break my heart if I log on and they're like, who put this nether portal here? This sucks. We don't want this here. It's too close to the base. What kind of dummy did that? And then I gotta be like, oh, Dan. Why'd you put the nether portal so close to the base, dummy? <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? You gotta pour it onto the side. I gotta I gotta get down in the in the meat here, man. You put lava in the hole, then you pour water on top of it? Dude, what the what the heck's going on? There's like a finite source of magma down here, dude. Water has to flow over the lava. How about that? Okay. Now you can just... Now I remember this. A lot of people... A Jedi would not tell you this. We're going to make a bespoke... Portal. So it... Oh, hold on. We Not like this, though. It doesn't need the corners... To be obsidian. So we're going to make it out of oak. And this is going to be like... Basically, this is going to be like on the... Uh, HGTV. It's going to be beautiful. Oak does burn. That's true, I guess we'll have to go pretty fast. But it, obsidian can't burn, right? So, like, there's no problem. That's that's why they pay the big bucks for it, man. Because it's like, if it was easy to make, you could just buy this shit at Ikea. I am a little... Afraid about how... It's gonna, it's gonna go, I guess. Um, think it's okay. Not, not really the way I drew it up, but I think it's okay. <laughs> that was insane. Thank you. I, I pride myself on being a good, and great gamer. Speaking of which, you're going to absolutely hate this, but just work with me for a second, okay? I know you're... Oh, these have got to be planks, brother. Come on, man. That's like... That's Bush League. But look at this. Look at that, man. I'm 
so much better at, at putting them down. Now, this is not the most efficient way to do this, but... Probably could have just walked two steps instead to get the cobble out of the... Out of the you-know-what, but... Especially because I'm going to have to get the cobble anyway. <laughs> in order to fill out the rest of this mold, but like... You know, I, I do it my own way, man. I march to the beat of a different Steve. Can you just, just not, dude? Like, I'm in the middle of a big public works project. I guess I could just sleep for a night. <laughs> and then wake up, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll go. You freaking zombie, man. You, no, you lit me on fire, you jerk hole. I'm okay. I'm actually totally fine. Nothing an apple can't fix. Okay. OSHA certified. Just be careful of the access hatch. Is the server on easy? No, I'm just built different. Dude, look at that. Look at that! I told you I'd get there one day. No, like if you're halfway, you're 90% done. Because the hard part is the setup at the start. Everything else is totally... F that was weird. Um, it's like software engineering, right? Like, the hard part is drawing up what you want to do on a whiteboard, figuring out, like, your class structure and stuff like that. The easy part is writing that stinky old code. Destroyed all the torches. Didn't even think about that. You're probably right. You're probably right. There they go again. <laughs> How does it make so much water from like a, a single bucket, man? Steve is a wizard. The hard part is wondering why it's broken and debugging. I don't understand why they have programmers who just like write bugs like you have one job like i feel like if i was getting paid 10 million dollars a year to write code can't they just find coders who don't write bugs like i would invest in all sorts of occupational therapists in order to make sure that you get the idea would would love your opinions on this CS major screaming. Jesse! That was so good. That was like, that was pitch perfect three. Okay. So we need one here and one here. And then we're done and we can fill out the rest with birch. No, I don't think it's going to be too tall. I think it's actually the right size. I think it's going to be... Dude, I told you, I don't I don't make mistakes. I've long been a proponent that I don't make mistakes. And you're about to see that right here. It's such a nice sound when it's done properly. I still, dude, that's too much water from a single bucket. But it, it do be true though, right? Like you ever like spill a glass of water 
You could drink a glass of water in like two seconds. If you ever drop some on the ground, it multiplies like 50 fold. Yo, Sips, thank you for the raid. I, I thought maybe it would be a surprise, but I'm using my incredible Minecraft speedrun strategies to build uh, a nether portal. If, if you guys decide you don't like it, that's fine. I'll, I'll be happy to destroy it. But on the other hand, like, hold on. It's also, it's an artisan uh, nether portal. It has birch corners. Which is pretty sweet. You can't really see the birch corners <laughs> here, I guess, but it's artisanal, right? Yeah, it's artisanal. That really owns, actually? Oh, that, you didn't have to say that. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, it debarked it. It's reclaimed wood. You could just put new wood on there. Do I mean like if you'd rather have oak, that's fine. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat it. Should probably talk to Malf and figure out what we're gonna do on the on the stream today though. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> now we do still need a uh a flint and steel. Oh, dude, you know what you do here? You make like a... I don't know. I don't know what you do here. Maybe a glass floor so you can actually see that birch. That's not what I meant to put down there. Yeah, I don't know. This looks horrible, but that's fine. There you go. There. You know what? Put my own little spin on it. <laughs> No, that's worse. That's worse. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes I get a little bit carried away with this, these brazen ideas. Okay, you take the dirt. Six dirt. That's enough. That's enough. All right. It, that'll grow back. Don't worry about that. That'll grow back. Yo, Mr. Moops, thank you for the gifted subs. Oh, just imagine... Me and the other dads, whoop, 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 going, dude, it's like going to the flea market on Sunday with your, with your friends, you know, you bring a couple of gold bars down here, you put on your gold shoes, and then you find some poglins, and you start chucking ingots at them, then they give you some netherite ore, I said, do you speak of my language, they just pogged, and gave me a netherite sandwich, and he say, you come from a land down under. Sorry, I, I, I get a little carried away sometimes. All right, let's let's log off.